My name is Brianne. Your friend thought you might want some company this evening. He did, did he? <laughs> did he mention that I had a girlfriend? Do you think I'm the kind of girl that would care? No, probably not. <laughs> we don't have to go through with this. Yeah, your friend already paid me. Well, did he happen to mention that I'm dying of a terminal brain tumor? He said you had cancer or something. I'm sorry, Brienne. I just don't think that you... this is right for me. It's nothing personal. You are a very beautiful girl. I just... don't think I can go through with this. You sure? Your friend had already paid me. I don't get refunds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's a shame. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Hey, can I ask you a question? You can ask. How do you want the world to remember you when you're gone? I uh, haven't done anything worth being remembered for. What do you do with all the money that you make escorting? I assume you make a lot of money. You have dreams, goals. Sure. What are they? Well, how are the questions? I'm a man with a few months to live. Humor me. You're not gonna try and save me as a good deed or something, are you? No, I'm just trying to figure out... I really don't know what I'm trying to figure out. My life is spiraling out of control, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I'm alone. I'm scared. And frankly, I'm not ready to die. I have so many things that I want to do, and I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to do them. Here. I'm sorry to take up your time. No, your friend already paid me. No, it's a tip. We didn't do anything. I know. You want to know my dream? My dream is to be able to go back home again. I wish I was back in Nebraska. I wish I could wake up in the bedroom of my parents' house to the smell of pancakes and maple syrup. To see my folks again. To be able to play on the big tire swing with my little cousins in the backyard. Why can't you go back? You can't do this job and just go back home again. It's never the same. It'll never be the same for me. Are you scared? Not really. I mean, I w was, but I'm okay now. I'm scared. You're a strong, beautiful, capable, amazing woman. <laughs> I'm only sorry I won't see you raise a family and kids of your own. I'll be sure to tell them stories of their uncle Danny and how he used to chase away the neighborhood kids every time they were mean to me. Don't forget about that one year. You forgot mom's birthday. And I hoped you'd make a last minute present out of Play-Doh. <laughs> I think she still has that ashtray. It was a coaster. Really? <laughs> We've always been so close. 
telling each other things that we couldn't tell mom. There's something that I've always wanted to tell you. I've always been jealous of the way mom treats you. You're her golden boy, man of the house. I've always resented you just a little for all of the attention and affection she bestowed upon you. Me, I was never good enough. Never pretty enough, smart enough for her, no matter how hard I tried. You were always her favorite. I'm sorry. She doesn't mean to treat me differently. It's just that when Dad died, I just remind her of Dad. So if you think about it, it's not me that's her favorite. That's him. Besides, he'll always be my favorite.